Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to color correct your graphic design work. I've always skimmed over that part in my design tutorials. I never really thought it was that important until I actually looked back at it and it actually gives you like a totally different design, like different mood and all that sort of stuff. I don't recommend you using this sort of style on in real life photos just because my style is very harsh and like it's very vibrant so you may not like it and it won't fit that well with people in it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll set the brush to to zero hardness you want to do that and you want to make the size around like a thousand you want to make a new layer here and basically what i'll do for all my like adjustments is if i'm placing white in one area it has to be in other areas as well because i don't want it to be dominant in one side because if it's just white here it looks kind of weird however if i just make it white here here and here it looks a bit more natural because it's even out you know so i'll do that and then i'll add colors usually two that are in the picture. So here I'd be using red and blue. So like here, maybe here and like near the gun here and I'll make it overlaid. And then let me add blue. So I'm making a new layer for each color. Uh, maybe like right here, 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 overlaid. So you can already see the difference. So if you can see here, obviously it doesn't look that good because like I'm doing this a bit quick and it's not even final here, but maybe if I were to make this like that it'd look a bit better there and just maybe lower the red a bit, something like that. And the next thing I'll do is I'll add curves to make it more aggressive and black. So you can see it kind of looks better right there at the face. It looks really cool right there. And this is an Overwatch picture. I don't play Overwatch or anything, so don't ask me. Um, so you can see the difference now, right? That's a lot better. It kind of makes it more vibrant and darker. So that's really cool. The next thing I'll do is I'll add some source of lighting. So usually it's at the top or bottom. I know a lot of graphic designers just put it at the top, but sometimes at the bottom is better. So people do like this, and then you can see that. I'll do both so you can see the difference now it kind of makes it look more realistic as well because usually it isn't just like dark here and then bright here you know what i mean so uh let's just maybe do something like that and then now i'll make the brush smaller to like 500 and i'll focus on the smaller details so i'm gonna click on areas that need emphasis so like obviously the hand the gun something like that and i'll do it in random spots like i said i don't want it in just one spot so let me just overlay this now and you can see the difference. So you can see the difference here. If you don't see the difference, just duplicate it, control J, and then you can see it. So basically I'm done now. And the last thing I'll do is just go to color balance and then I'll see if it looks better with other colors, like with more emphasis. So if there's more red in it, if there's more purple in it, you know, that sort of stuff. So something like that looks really cool. I'll mess with vibrance and saturation only if I need to, but it looks like it looks good in this one. like. Maybe if I wanted like a darker look like that, that might look good. And then last thing I'll go to hue and saturation, see if the other color schemes look better. So like that might look good. I think this looks the best though. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is kind of my look. You might not like it. I understand. So let me just do a quick before and after. You can see the very big difference. I like to keep it like really dreamy, but also very like vibrant, you know, and very aggressive somehow. It's aggressive and very like foggy type looking. I really like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.